What goes on inside the mind of a Radiant player? In those fast-paced moments, there's a lot of little things that we think about automatically. It looks easy and sometimes effortless when you're watching, but trust me, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. I'm Dopai, a 900RR Radiant coach. Let me break down some of my favorite clutches in a way that you can understand so you can be more clutchy. So on this clutch, I'm starting off in a 1v4. I know I need to get a kill. As soon as I hear the planner, I try to get the kill, but he jiggles me, and then I try to change the angle by taking a step back. Thankfully, he swings into me and I can get the kill, but notice how I don't instantly dismiss until I see one on my screen. The reason for that is because I want to leave the orb there just in case I can use it for a heal later, but unfortunately, I get swung, so I have to dismiss. And while I'm dismissing, I check my flank. Once I spot Sova on the flank, I try to juggle and take a step back to get a better angle. I notice he isn't fighting me, and I'm not a fan of the angle so I turned back to site to see if maybe my fight with Sova would have baited out someone from site. Unfortunately no one on site gave me a fight but I shot a few bullets and I was hoping that would bait out the Sova. After killing the Sova I grabbed the heal and back up to see if anyone from site would go for the trade. Again no one is swinging from site so I decided to pop my ultimate and go in for the 1v2. I'm trying to gather info with my jump spot and my flash and then start scaling out. As soon as I spot the alarm bot I shoot it and decide to pick up the gun because I'm low on ammo. At the same time I'm expecting them to fight me off of the alarm bot so I'm getting ready for that. Because I was expecting them to fight me off of the alarm but I pre-fired left side and then I got flash from the right so I pull my spray back to the right just in case the phoenix swung with the flash. Fortunately I'm able to pre-fire the killjoy on the left but the phoenix didn't flash so I'm able to continue scaling. I grab the dismiss and jump around to try to find his exact location. When I do I try to bait a few shots in the box by pre-firing and juggling a little bit to try to move his crosshair and maybe bait a shot. Afterwards I go for the wide swing hoping that his crosshair is close and I can finish the kill quickly. So you might have noticed that this player is actually observing me. I wasn't streaming so I asked him to clip this for me. This is one of my cleanest clutches so I wanted to include it even though it's not from my POV. So with this clutch I'm lurking up A short and I'm calling my teammates back to A. They get breach ulted and they're fighting so I decided to speed up a little bit more. When I notice it's 1v4 I'm looking at minimap to see if I can catch the timing and go for a little bit of extra steps to close the distance. As I approach the angle I'm making sure I'm ready for the fight so I can go for an insta kill because it's a 1v4 here and I need to get the first kill as quick as possible. Thankfully with my crosshair placement and good peek I'm able to insta kill breach. However I got caught off by the jet up top so I end up losing 120 HP but I'm able to get the flick kill. After I get those two kills I notice I'm on 1 HP so I decide to back up. I don't want to rush into it too much because if I just go fast on 1 HP I'm just going to get traded out. I was thinking maybe I could go for a rap play in C-Link or even going back to mid. But the main thing is I have a minute on the clock and I'm just trying to burn down the time so they think that I'm coming from somewhere else. After walking around for a little bit, I decided just to go back because if I wait too long, it's going to be a little bit obvious. So while they're having doubts in their mind, I decided to walk back and go for the fight. The thing that I want to highlight in this clutch is how I dedicated peak or deddy peak some of these angles. Because I'm on 1 HP, I have to make my pre-aims and my peaks really clean in order to get the insta-kill before taking damage. So I'm able to kill the killjoy front B and I'm just making the assumption that maybe they had a crossfire of some sort from the guy back site. So that's the next angle I go for and luckily I get the kill. Again, this clutch is just highlighting how important it is to go for clean, dedicated peaks when you're going in the clutch, especially on 1 HP. So in this next clip, we're on an eco and we're just scaling up B long. Because I'm playing controller, I decided just to play a little bit slower and hold our hookah flank. And by doing this, I'm also playing anti-flash against any sky flashes. The sky doesn't pop the flash, but he swings and I get the kill. Afterwards, everyone else dies on my team, so I'm just in a 1v4, so I'm taking my time on the Reyna here. Take my flank one more time, and then decide to commit to the Reyna fight. Of course, it's a 1v4, so I'm just expecting him to swing me, so I'm just holding. I had a clean one tap, and then I just run up to try to get the gun. As I'm running up to get the gun, I heard 3 TP, so I know I can go on A and plant. A teammate called that I have 3 stars, so I decided to put it everywhere just to cause some confusion. The thing I'm thinking about with my smokes here is I want to be able to make some smokes to make it seem like I could be anywhere. But by smoking off mid site, it threatens that I could cross the triple or I could even go back to U-Haul. It just causes some doubts in their head again. Just in case some of them are rotating through spawn as soon as I plant, I smoke spawn just in case and it, that might also buy me some time to wrap short. As I'm walking back showers, I realize I made a mistake because I put down all three of my stars so I don't have one for bomb. So I decided to pull it back anyways just in case it'll be up in time for the clutch. So the reason why I'm rapping here is because I don't want them to think I'm in showers and I also can get a timing on clearing short. In other words, if they flank short, I can flank them and then I get the kill or I can just get a timing because they might think I'm still in showers. I hear them run up short, so I pull out a knife a little bit just to get a little bit extra timing. And then he taps, which is not great because I don't have suck on bomb. So at this point, it's just a gamble, but now I'm just going for kills. I catch the jet and the raise, which leaves me in a 1v1 with brimstone. My only hope here is to get a headshot because I don't have a spray weapon, so I'm just tapping through the smoke at head height, going left and right. I know I'm running low on ammo, so as soon as I shoot my last bullet, I'm preemptively thinking about using the suck on the bomb just in case he got off of it for some reason. Luckily, I get the kill with the last bullet anyways. 
But the important thing with this clutch is just trying to use your positioning to your advantage here. Using smokes for misdirection and putting doubts on their minds and you know, really just buying time there. So on this clutch, I lurked through B, but unfortunately my entire team died. I'm on an eco anyway, so I'm, at this point I'm just going for kills and maybe trying to get a gun to save. I find Astro and pick up the gun, and I just want to increase my tempo here, so I decided to TP a little bit forward. I hear some footsteps, and because I don't have my flash, I decided to use the one-way tech on the smoke. All you have to do here is drag the smoke up until the little bottom of the smoke kind of just touches the floor. And then there's this little triangle, like this little gray triangle that you can see as the smoke is traveling. And as soon as it disappears, and that means the smoke is popping. So you basically just want to peek when you think the smoke is going to pop. I get a kill with it, and again, I'm just trying to up my tempo, so I TP onto the box, and I'm willing to take that risk. This Breach is playing with respect, so he falls all the way back in time, which I think is crazy. But I still have another smoke, so I decide to one-way him off. As soon as the smoke pops, I start scaling a little bit, trying to clear my angles. They're Breach stun, so I'm just holding for the swing just in case. No one comes through, and time is low, so I'm just really trying to push my timing here, going for jiggles, and trying to find out where the other players are. I see nothing, so I go for the crouch peek on Jen because I think that's like the most common angle to happen in the situation. But oddly enough, this raise is on top Jen for some reason. That throws me off guard, but I'm able to still get the kill and I remember that there was someone behind my one-way smoke, so I decided to spray transfer there just in case because I'm on one HP. I end up killing the Cypher instead of the Breach who was there earlier, so I know the Breach is here and I'm just trying to quickly grab bomb and just ult away. I reset the situation on a new bomb site and decided to get an open plant just to give myself more options. I immediately go back to B main just so I can wrap market and then try to surprise him. But then I remembered that the market door was closed earlier in the round. As soon as I made that realization, I was like, well, I'm just gonna have to play the clutch from B main and just hope that if he comes flank, I kill him or I can just walk up on site when he goes for the defuse. I'm a little bit upset because I forgot the door was closed. So I take a deep breath just to try to calm myself. Trust me, if you do that little deep breath tactic in your clutches, if you have time, it actually helps so much. As time is ticking away, I decide to full clear flank just so I can focus on sight and get a better timing so I turn around. Careful. I hear him on sight, but I'm 1 HP so I decided to do the one way tech again. Looking back at it, that was a complete mistake because he could have just stuck bomb. Regardless, I get lucky and I find him on the side and get the kill. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this type of video. You might have noticed that most of these clutches were won because of my good peeking. So if you guys want to improve your peeking, check out this video here and if you're interested in coaching, check out the description.